My name is Ellen. I have been living in San Francisco for 33 years. I work for the government for the last 15 years. I am a behavioral health clinician that I train people how to behave. I also represent the government employees. As of May 2019, we have 32,000 government employees. Because I investigate complaints from government employees, and because I was a civic grand jury for two terms, I learned a lot about San Franciscan, a lot about public policy that is currently failed to deliver the quality care for you, for me in San Francisco. My name is Ellen. As I campaigning, going on the street, talking to homeless people, I found out three things the homeless people need, three things. An indoor place to sleep, get away from the drug dealers, and a job so they can go back to a life that they used to have. August 2019, according to 13 departments, summarized a report. We now have 21,000 homeless people in San Francisco. In addition, we have 25,000 drug dealers abusers and users that dominated our life. I'm not sure if you pay attention. For the last two years, we have more than 400 people died, passed away on San Francisco streets. Something is not right about the picture. When I walked on the street, sometimes I see homeless people, they have to pick out food from the trash can to eat. I am ashamed as a government employee. And as a mother, I do not want to see anybody waste their life like I have been experienced and seeing people waste their life in San Francisco Street. We also have 50,000 empty plus apartments in San Francisco. If you refer back to May 2019, San Francisco Chronicle report we have more than 100,000 empty apartments across the Bay Area. San Francisco alone has minimum 50,000 to about 75,000 apartments that is available today, right here, right now. If we have fair housing policies to release, release the housings for the property owners and the tenants who need housing. When I become a mayor, I will work with the enforcement, the law enforcement, to obey the United States Constitution. So we will stop the car break-ins every day. According to the report, we have minimum 100 car break in every day in San Francisco, maybe more, because many people feel useless to report when there's nothing can be done. The police fail to deliver the quality of care to prevent those property crimes. 2019, San Francisco is ranked number one in the nation that we are the number one property crime in the United States. If you think London Breed, our current mayor, is going to change for you, Forget it. You know why? Because I work for the government for the last 15 years. I associate with people who provide solutions. I am one of the solution providers. When I become a mayor, I will work with the federal government to enforce the United States Constitution to clear the drug dealers off the street and revive the life of homeless people so they can get back to their feet. No more drug homes for homeless, and give jobs for them so they can get back to a normal life. I am good at that because I am a behavioral health clinician. I train people how to behave, how to get back to their feet, and how to live a life that with hope, faith, and love. When I become a mayor, I will release the empty apartments to the teachers and the workers and local San Franciscans first. We do not need to sell bond and get more money, get the more debts for our children, generations to come, because we have the empty apartments today. So vote for me, Ellen for mayor, in November 5th, 2019. Together, we will stop the car break in, we will heal the homeless, we will release the empty apartment, and we will work with the United States Constitution law to arrest the people they, they are not welcome. They are not welcome. They should not be representing our government when they are not delivering the quality of life in San Francisco. Vote for me, Ellen Lee Zhao, for mayor in November 2019. Together, we'll make San Francisco safe and clean. Thank you.